If you ask most people, they will tell you that, if they're honest, they don't feel truly alive. They don't. In fact, they feel many times they say that they're going through the motions, right? They feel like that they're running on empty. And these are metaphors we use to explain the fact that most of us have automated everything in our lives. Relationships, tasks, jobs, you name it. Most people automate their lives and then the problem is, is it takes something major to wake them up again, to jolt them out of the ruts of life. In fact, I'm on a path right now and if you can see it, there are two ruts going down this pathway. And I've seen vehicles drive on this before and what happens is they get locked in and I've seen people kind of relax. They take their hands off the wheel, if you will, and they just kind of go down the path until they start veering off and it jolts them that they're about to jump the ruts. Now here's the point. You have one of two options in life. You can be one of these people who go down the path of life, you take your hands off the wheel, and you simply just let your mind go. Pretty soon, you reach the end and your life is done. There's an alternative though. The alternative is to be present. The alternative is to be aware. The alternative is to feel life, to taste the food that you're gonna eat today, to breathe in the air, to really focus on breathing in the air, to actually hug someone today, a loved one, and, and feel it. Now here's the point. What type of person do you wanna be? Do you wanna be somebody who automates life, who just goes down the path of life, uh, hands off the wheel? Or do you wanna be someone who truly feels life? I'd rather be that person. Here's the funny thing. I always used to run, especially down this path. But I had shoulder surgery, and so my doctor said, you can't run. And so this is the first time, I just stopped, but this is the first time I've been out on this path now since January, and it's May, right? A lot of months have gone by. And I, I'm excited to be back, and even though I've done this path many times before, it's all new to me, because it's been so long since I've been on this path. And, and I see new trees, I see new growth, I'm aware I'm alive and my, my brain's firing off in new ways, which is fantastic. That's what you need to do. You need to reintroduce to your life new settings, new experiences, new foods, new books, new. New is one of these things we call novelty and novelty is something that wakes you up again. Not novelty in some reckless way, but novelty in a way that jolts you out of the ruts of life and allows you to be present again in your own life, experiencing new things. This is Kerry Oberbrunner. Be a soul on fire today. My purpose of the Igniting Souls Daily Show is for you to wake up again. It's for you to stop automating your life. It's a way for you to do what we call show up, filled up. It's beautiful around here. There's a, there's a lake behind me, which I'm gonna go see in a moment. But enjoy life, it's short. And, and get everything you can out of it, but not in a selfish way, in a giving way. I call it redeeming the day, not seizing the day. Seizing the day just is all about you. It's all about you enjoying life. It's all about you taking hold. I'd rather you redeem the day, which means buy back your day by investing in other people. Go make it happen today. I'm proud of you. Go ahead, share your thoughts below and let me know how you're gonna jump the ruts of life and stop living life by automation.